Farron in Texas says, my parents aren't very good with money and they currently don't have any retirement saved. My Oops. dad is 53 and my mom is 63. They have a lot of health Ooh. problems as well. So my question is, should I include them in my financial plans? Should I plan to save a retirement for them? Should I try to help them make better financial decisions? And then I wanted to read this too. Thank, she said, thank you for all your help with po and podcasts and articles. My husband, Adam, and I are fans, but my husband is your ultimate fan guy. He listens to your podcast religiously and has been, has been for years. And whenever we have a financial question, your website is the first he visits. It's his birthday on May 6th. If you said hi to him on your podcast, it would be the best birthday gift ever. All right. So, Adam, I will not sing to you for tomorrow. <laughs> But I will tell you this, even though it's the 5th and your birthday is tomorrow, celebrate this way. It's already your birthday as we're speaking in New Zealand, Australia, and much of Asia. So happy birthday from the people of the extreme South Pacific and from Asia. I hope it's a great one. Now, to your question, uh, gosh. A lot of adult children are finding as their parents age that the parents have the dual problem you described. No money saved for the future and medical problems. I just had a call from somebody who was a family friend asking me this exact question is they were dealing with a destitute older relative and they were all trying to figure out what to do. So, for your parents, it's really late in the game for them to build up savings. If you are willing to take on the burden of helping with the saving for retirement, and if they would not um, squander the money, what I would do, you're able to put, because of their age, up to $7,500 each in a Roth IRA in their names. And that's a transfer of generational wealth in reverse. But if you do that, the money can grow tax-free for them. And the second aspect of this is it's a non-taxable event for you because you're able to give any other person up to $17,000 a year without any tax implications at all. Now, as someone pointed out, this is an added thing. I won't dwell on it. If you don't have millions of dollars, you don't even have to worry about that. You can give them whatever amount you want. But the smartest, most efficient thing to do if they would leave the money alone and let it grow, is the 7500 each year in a Roth IRA for them, preparing for when they are not able to earn and not able to take care of themselves, that they at least have that money growing tax-free for the years till that would occur.